Hello everyone, welcome to Infigya in this very very exciting video of algebraic challenging problems where we are going to simplify today an interesting factorial sum. Problem is in front of you. We will solve this problem using algebraic manipulation method using factorial and its properties. Let's get started by writing recursive formula because I am going to use that formula mainly. So if I am writing n factorial its meaning is I have to multiply from 1 to that particular number. Before that it would be n minus 1 and last term is n. This is n factorial. This is what we know. Similarly, I can write n minus 1 factorial also. It will give us 1 into 2 into and so on. Up to n minus 1 we have to multiply. So what we can do, we can replace this product by n minus 1 factorial. This is our recursive formula. Use the previous result to find out current value like mathematical induction. So n into n minus 1 factorial. This is recursive general formula. So let's apply. First I will begin with considering the general Term. So I will write this as k plus 2 divided by k factorial plus k plus 1 factorial plus k plus 2 factorial. Now I will apply recursive formula in all the three terms. So I can write k plus 2 as numerator as it is. In denominator I will begin with k factorial as it is plus k plus 1 factorial I will write k plus 1 times k factorial plus k plus 2 I can write k plus 2 times k plus 1 times k factorial okay now in denominator you can see k factorial is common so I will take k factorial common from the denominator let us see what is left over there. So k factorial is there. In bracket, what I will have? 1 plus k plus 1 plus k plus 2 times k plus 1. Okay. Now what is this? This is again k plus 2. So let me take k plus 2 out because it is also available here. So I will write k plus 2 divided by k factorial in bracket. Let me write k plus 2 one time. k plus 2 plus k plus 2 times k plus 1. Okay. In next step I can write k plus 2 Denominator will be k factorial. I will take k plus 2 common. So there will be left 1 plus k plus 1. Okay. So it will become k plus 2 divided by k factorial. k plus 2 times k plus 2. So I can cancel 1 k plus 2. What is left? 1 over k factorial into k plus 2. Now I will multiply numerator denominator by k plus 1. See what it will do. If I will multiply numerator denominator by k plus 1, numerator will be k plus 1 and denominator will be k factorial k plus 1 k plus 2 so shall i write k plus 2 factorial yes we can write now i will write k plus 1 see this term i will write k plus 1 over k plus 2 factorial as let me write in the next slide k plus 1 over k plus 2 factorial let me write here k plus 1 over k plus 2 factorial. 
okay this k plus 1 i will write k plus 2 minus 1 divided by k plus 2 factorial okay now you split the numerator i will write k plus 2 divided by k plus 2 factorial minus 1 over k plus 2 factorial okay now k plus 2 over i will use again recursive formula i can write denominator as k plus 2 times k plus 1 factorial okay minus 1 over k plus 2 factorial now see k plus 2 i will cancel from the numerator and denominator so what is left overall 1 over k plus 1 factorial minus 1 over k plus 2 factorial this is one important result in the context of this problem so let me write here the general form we will consider that as a identity in further problems so let me write k plus 2 over k factorial plus k plus 1 factorial plus k plus 2 factorial that is equal to 1 over k plus 1 factorial minus 1 over k plus 2 factorial this is our result and this result will give our simplification for this problem okay so see it is k plus 2 so for first term what i will write this would be 1 over put k equal to 1 simple so 1 over 2 factorial minus 1 over 3 factorial first term plus second term would be 1 over 3 factorial minus 1 over 4 factorial plus if you want to write next term also then it would be 1 over 4 factorial minus 1 over 5 factorial and so on last term you will get let me write here 1 over 2022 factorial minus 1 over 2023 factorial okay this term minus this term for each bracket okay see now what will happen after that every term will be cancelled out except first and last term every term will get cancelled out so what is left that is our final answer 1 over 2 factorial minus 1 over 2 0 2 3 factorial and we know that 1 over 2 factorial easily we can write 1 over 2 minus now no need to find out 2 0 2 3 factorial so we will write our answer as 1 over 2 minus 1 over 2023 factorial i hope you like this video thank you so much for paying attention giving time bye bye till next video do not forget to like share and subscribe friends bye bye